Ashley on Gears. Time to look at the world of uh, Formula One. Of course, most of the discussion at the moment is all about Pirelli and their tyres. Uh, going back to the uh, 2012 construction of the tyre for this coming weekend. And the young driver's test, <coughs> excuse me, that is scheduled um, later on this year in a couple of weeks from now at the Silverstone Circuit will um, feature the actual drivers from the cars. You, if you were listening yesterday, it was something that um, uh, Vic and I spoke about at length. And uh, the regular drivers will be in the cars uh, for that young driver test, except the Mercedes team, because they had the illegal test and they are no longer allowed to be there. At that test, just by the way, the FIA will send its own observers to uh, ensure that the current race drivers do not work on car developments. Now, car developments, in my opinion, are going to be systematic of going there and using the tires because you're going to change certain things in the car so that you get something better out of the tire. Strange. Um, but I suppose the young driver's test was purely just for drivers to go there and actually test the car. So it's good that the FAA will check it out. Going back to uh, Mercedes, their new recruit, Paddy Lowe, has been told to focus his efforts on improving this year's 2013 Formula One car. The rest of the executive, I assume, will be working on next year's 2014 car. But Paddy Lowe and Mercedes must believe that they have an opportunity to actually win this title this year. Yes, Vettel is going to be very difficult to beat, but the likes of Lotus and Ferrari seem to be falling behind, whereas Mercedes is now definitely the fastest or second fastest car on the grid. So don't count out Mercedes when it comes to uh, the World Championship at the end of the season. Speaking about Ferrari, Stefano uh, Domenicali says his team needs to find answers before this weekend's Grand Prix as to why its pace was so poor at the British Grand Prix. It was very, very unexpected. They need to understand this um, in the next couple of days and hopefully have a better Grand Prix. Even though Alonso finished um, pretty high up in uh, the Grand Prix, I think uh, in third position, I think he would uh, be a little bit concerned about the pace of the Ferrari Formula One car as well. Alan McNeish has come out and endorsed that uh, Mark Webber has made the right decision to uh, leave Formula One at this stage and then go and join Porsche when it comes to Le Mans racing next year as well. Worrying uh, times at Sauber and the fact that uh, Nico Hulkenberg apparently hasn't been paid his salary. So uh, times are tough, especially or also in the world of Formula One. That's a quick look at all of our news for this afternoon. I'm sure it's going to get quite interesting from tomorrow. There's a big meeting between the FIA as well as Pirelli. Of course, we'll keep you updated right here on Gears. At the next intersection, turn on Gears with Sasha Martinengo. Weekdays from 12 to 2 p.m. Central African time.